The vaccination rate in Barrington is 78% in the schools. It's 32% in Providence, 31 in Central Falls. We have to do better. Rhode Island's Education Commissioner on Helica Infante Green pointing out the inconsistencies in vaccination rates among some school districts in yesterday's COVID-19 briefing. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us now. And Alex, this comes as the mask requirement in K-12 schools is set to end in the coming weeks and the requirement for masks at most indoor spaces will expire tomorrow. Well, Kim and Mike, the data shows while 99% of Rhode Island adults and 94% of all Rhode Islanders have gotten one dose of a vaccine, several communities have yet to hit 80% or even 70% of their community getting at least partially vaccinated. Data from the Rhode Island Department of Health shows as a state, the daily number of Rhode Islanders getting vaccinated for the first time has decreased in recent weeks and booster doses have also been slowing down. Getting everybody up to date is probably the closest and nearest way we're going to get to the end of this pandemic. The rates all vary by community. State health data shows East Greenwich, New Shoreham, Barrington, Jamestown and North Kingstown rank among the highest vaccinated communities in the state with 90 to 100 percent of all eligible residents in each town at least partially vaccinated. But some some communities have yet to hit even 70% of residents with one dose, like Tiverton, Woonsocket, Foster, Burrowville, Little Compton, and Gloucester. Even in a community like South Kingstown, where 72% of residents have at least one dose, just 36% of residents under 25 have gotten vaccinated. As time has gone on, we've seen the numbers really increase. At Amos House, a Providence nonprofit serving those experiencing homelessness, unemployment, or poverty, staff say there's a wide variety in its vaccine clinics. People are coming and asking if they can get their boosters at a vaccination clinic, which is a good sign. And there's certainly people who are still getting their first doses, and that's okay too. It may have just taken them a little while to get comfortable with the idea of getting vaccinated. And the Department of Health tells me that it, the state does not collect data on whether or not someone is homeless, but notes that at on-site clinics at places like Amos House or Crossroads, that they vaccinated at least 550 people through the summer of 2021. And since then, more than 20 clinics have been held, offering an, an additional 300 doses administered to those folks. Live in the control room, I'm Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.